to the parallel bars where the Turkish team have aspirations and where they have individual goals too. Ferhat Arujan, the Olympic bronze medalist in Tokyo and two times a European champion. One of the best in the world on this piece. And with this first element, he shows you why. Control and fluidity and extreme difficulty. Even when he's a little bit off, as he was on that handstand on one rail, he is able to get it back together, tighten up his body, and even do the heely turn out, giving himself more difficulty. Smooth Makuts. And another Healy. Tremendous control. You would not think that the Turkish men had competed at two multi-sport games this summer. They look like they've come here from a spa break. They are really looking fresh. It's extraordinary. They look like they're in their fifth year. And maybe that is because of those great multi-sport games triumphs. They must be tired, but they're confident. This dismount was incredible. The way that he found the ground. Yes, this will likely yield a strong score from the judges for Ferhat Adujan. And we'll give you an update on what it means for Turkey in a moment. Oh, now then. 14.866 for Vincent Hook, the strongest number we've seen on the still rings so far. By a long way, too. Got some real ring specialists still to come. I think Daniel Fox of Ireland will be perfectly happy with that one going above him. If you weren't watching the first subdivision, well done to Daniel Fox, the comeback story. That is not Takumi Onoshima, but he scored 11.166. Well, the score you may have heard has just come through in the arena. 